Jimmy Thank from Maximum PC here at Computex 2015. I'm here at uh, Zotex booth uh, speaking with Ming. And Ming, can you tell us what we're looking at here? Now uh, you are looking at the all new 980 Ti series from Zotex. Okay. And um, what you see here is our basic model. Now we call it the 980 Ti M edition. Uh, this one we use the reference board design with our own triple 90 millimeter fence cooler. Okay. And we do a slightly overclock. And we we'll, yeah. And this one will be the highest CP value skill. Uh, and how much is, is this going to retail for? Um, actually, we don't have the final price yet, but should be around 650. Okay. Sweet. Uh, and then uh, you guys have a slightly uh, beefier version up here, right? Yeah, what you see here is the 90 Ti M Extreme. And this one, we are pretty sure this will be the, uh, the, the 90 Ti with the highest clock in the market. Okay, what is the, what is the clock on it? Um, we we pre-overclock it to 1,253 megahertz. Yeah, and oh, on a stock card, what is it? What is it clocked at? Oh, it's one thousand. One thousand. Okay. Yeah. So it's two hundred fifty something megahertz above the reference. Okay. And and for the speed, uh, we this will achieve like twenty to thirty percent faster than the regular one. Oh wow. Yeah. And then you just have more metal on this, a bigger shroud. Is that how you get away with it? Yeah, we use a bigger cooler with our new fan, so. We will, uh, we will achieve a much, much better cooling. Also, what you see here, we add the LED light on it. It yeah. will be white. I think they have it shown down here, yeah, right? Yeah, this is the live demo. Okay, cool. And then uh, just moving on over here, I think you guys have like a hybrid uh, water-cooled and air-cooled uh, 980 Ti, right? Yes, this is uh, the first first Arctic cooling solution we have at Sun in Soltech history. Now, uh, what's special about this is this is actually a hybrid solution. It comes with three uh, 90 millimeter fans, and also it can be used with the user's own water cooling system. So, for this card, the end user can do overclocking themselves to a really, really high megahertz. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I've never seen you know a video card with both you know air cooled and, and water cooled before. Um, like, what was the the idea behind that? Um, the idea behind that is because is the end user doesn't need to have the the water cooling all the time. So, uh, we know that sometimes the end user may take out their water cooling for cleaning or what other purpose, or it maybe can, if you wanted to upgrade later. Yeah, and then it the fan itself is have enough cooling power already, and but with the water cooling. Active, the fan will sometimes even stop, so you will achieve a really, really quiet environment. Yeah, I'm just gonna lift it here so you can see the the water. Yeah, I can hold it for you. Yeah. So it just it just pumps through here. Yeah, and what you see here is the cold plate, and it's made with full copper. Yeah, and uh, yeah, just lifting it now, it's it's really heavy. Um, yeah. And I guess it's the back plate that's why, right? No, um, the full copper. Cold plate is really heavy. This cut is almost four pounds. So we add a black plate to reinforce the whole cut, and also uh, inside the package, it will come with a cut supporter to support this heavy cut. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, but copper, as everyone's know, it has it is the best metal for heat combat uh, heat yeah. conduction. Right. Yeah. So this one is built for performance. And then when is uh, when is this one going to be released, and how much is it going to cost? Um, this will be available really, really soon. Uh, we will keep everyone updated. And this one is going to about maybe around two hundred dollar above the reference board. Okay. We don't have the final price yet. Sorry. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, man. Okay.